Hello, in today's class we will be learning about the keyboard shortcuts. In that we will learn about the Windows Global Key shortcuts and the Windows Explorer shortcuts. Now, as in the first one is the Windows Low Key, the first shortcut is Windows Low Key itself. If you press this Windows key, that will open the start menu, as you all know. Now, the next one is Windows plus pause button. So, you just have to keep pressing on Windows and then, then press the pause button. Then it will open the system properties, as you can see. Now, the next one is Windows plus D. Keep on pressing the Windows button and then press D. So, it will take you to the desktop. Now, Windows plus N which is used to minimize all the windows so we open all the windows and then we will see how it works so i am pressing keep on pressing windows and then press n see all windows are minimized now if you want to restore this minimized windows then windows plus shift plus n you know this shift is kind of used to reverse the action in uh, previous uh, some shortcuts uh, shift was used right now, the next one is Windows plus E that is to that is used to open the computer. So keep on pressing Windows button and then press E. And here it is our computer. Now, the next one is uh, Windows plus L which is used to log off your uh, system so that you can have the option to switch the user. But we are not going to do, the, do that one in practical, right? Or this video will be stopped right there. Now the next one is to Windows plus R. Keep pressing on Windows button and then press R. So you, it will open the run dialog box. The next one is Windows plus T. Windows plus T will run a cycle through programs on the taskbar. You know these programs. So keep on pressing windows and then press T. Here. The way it is highlighted. See? And the ones which are open. It will be used quite better. So this is how this windows plus T works. Now, the next one is. The windows plus any number. Like. Uh, uh, not any number, but here the Win Internet Explorer is given the one number because it is the first one from the start button. Then second one is for this folder. The third one is for Chrome. Fourth for a uh, fourth for this CC cleaner. Then uh, this fifth for is sticky notes. Sixth is for PowerPoint. Seventh is for this a uh, screen face cam. The next one is for word and that way it goes on. Okay. So if I press Windows plus 1, it will open this Internet Explorer as it is on the first number. Now if we see the word is on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 number. So I have Windows plus, I mean, Windows plus 8 number. See? It will minimize and maximize that window if it is already open. But if you want to start a new window of Word, then what? Then you have to press Shift plus Word plus the 8 number that is for Word. So it will open altogether a new window of Word. Now, the next one is Alt plus Windows plus number. I'll close this one now alt plus windows plus any number so i'll press one now second number now third number fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine and zero so it is actually opening uh, that uh, you know shortcut menu that we can open with the help of the right click of the mouse this way the next one is Windows plus tab that we have already done. So you can navigate with the help of tab. Keep pressing on Windows and then tab. 
Now, if you don't want to navigate through tab, then Control plus Windows plus tab. Now you can navigate with the help of arrow keys this way. And if you want to stop this process, then escape as we have learned in the previous class. Now the next one is Windows plus Spacebar. Uh, this Windows plus Spacebar does not open the uh, actually it does not minimize all the programs, but it just gives it just give you the preview of the of the desktop. As as soon as you leave pressing this that button, the preview will you know fade. So again, Windows plus Spacebar. Just keep pressing on the Windows button, and as soon as you leave it, back to the normal. The next one is Windows plus up arrow. Uh, for that, here, this is our active window. So Windows plus up arrow. It will, you know, maximize your active window. Now. Windows plus select arrow. Windows plus select. See? And same. Windows plus right arrow. So this is what happens. And now Windows plus down arrow. Here the screen is maximized. If I press Windows plus down arrow the original size and then if I press it again it will be minimized see here yeah. now uh, now we will open all the windows now if I press windows plus home uh, then it will minimize all the windows except the active window right now the active window is what so if I press windows plus home I mean, Windows plus home and see all the windows have been minimized except this word. Now the next one is Windows plus shift plus up arrow. Mm. It will stretch this window Windows plus shift plus up arrow this way. And Windows plus P. Windows plus P. So it will give you the presentation display mode options. Which I will want to choose. Now, the next are the Windows Explorer shortcuts. For that we will open the Windows Explorer. And we will go to downloads. This is better. Now, Control plus N, which is used to open a new window of the same of the same folder. If I want to open the same window of downloads again, then I press Control plus N. So you can see there are two windows of this downloads. Now, the next one is Control plus W. If I want to close down this window, then Control plus W. See? Now, the next one is Control plus shift plus N that is used to create a new folder. So control plus shift plus N and here it is our new folder. I will name it ABC. Next one is and but for that we will need a scroll bar and it is not here. So keep pressing on control and uh, move your scroll bar. Still not big. Yes, now we have got the scroll bar here. Now, if you press the end, then the last file of this window will be selected. And if you press the home button, then the first item of this folder will be selected. I mean, uh, your scroll bar move to the you know the very first item on the screen. Now. The next one is F11. F11 is used to, uh, you know, to make this uh, screen to the full screen mode. Uh, right now, this is only maximize, but if we want to 
uh, view this on the full screen mode then just press F11 and see this is the full screen mode the full screen mode is not only available in VLC or media player you know your folders can be of full screen size too if I want to move out of it press escape oh, sorry F11 again to move out of this full screen mode now next one is the control plus dot but I will move but for that back to original now this control plus dot is used on the pictures yeah this is the picture control plus dot see this is rotating the clockwise and to move the uh, another way that is on the counter clockwise then you have to press control plus comma this way now the next one is here uh, my uh, this library's folder is selected and if i press numlock plus asterisk asterisk is let me show you how that is this kind of sign something this kind of sign is called the asterisk so if i press numlock and asterisk together keep pressing on numlock and then press the asterisk all the folders and subfolders of that selected folder will be shown like this and if you want it to back to the original then just press this numlock plus the minus sign see the only one library is here now as you know uh, you can navigate with the help of sorry uh, with the help of arrow keys too and if you want to open it then just use the uh, right arrow and if you want to close it down then use the left arrow that way so left arrow and right arrow can be also used for this then there is alt plus enter as you already know if i want to see the properties of this then alt plus enter the next one is uh, alt plus p for that we will go to pictures again now this one is selected and if i press alt plus p then it will show a miniature of the original one it is called the preview pen this side and if you don't want to have this preview pen then again press alt plus p it's gone the next one is alt plus left arrow uh, but for that we will have to make a path like open so many folders the one you like this way now the path that we have came if you want to go back I mean into the previous folder that you were in then press the x space see this is how you can move uh, but uh, for that you can use the alt plus left arrow too okay and back backspace is used for the same so alt plus left arrow is equal to backspace for this windows explorer now the next one is alt plus right arrow you know you have to move in the forward direction with the help of backspace you are moving backward but if you use alt plus this uh, you know right arrow so it will move you so it will take you for in the forward folder now the alt plus up arrow so it will take you to the parent folder alt plus up arrow our parent folder is libraries as you can see 
Now, if you use the backspace, then again it will take you to the backward in backward motion. And the last one is Alt plus D. It will highlight this address bar, and for that. Four is also used. See, I think that's it for the keyboard shortcuts class. Thank you.